to my channel. My name is Haley, and thank you guys so much for joining me on this beautiful day. If you are not already following me on Instagram, you tripping. So go ahead and check me out. My name is Love Lockdown 92. Again, that is Love Lockdown 92, and you can catch most of my lock journey there as well. But in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to add cowrie shells to your locks. So if that's something that you're interested in, please keep watching. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you two methods of adding the shells to your locks. The first method, um, I actually don't recommend for thicker locks. I recommend it for locks either my size or smaller because you're actually taking your lock and you're sticking it through the hole of the shell. So it's not going to work um, on thicker locks at all. So I actually did one just for practice to make sure I didn't look crazy on camera. But what you're gonna need is a bobby pin. You're going to need a rubber band. And then you're going to need your shell. Okay, and you can actually get these shells from um, any beauty supply store. You can order online, um, even Walmart might carry them. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the tip of a lock. I'm gonna do this one, and you're gonna stick your bobby pin through that lock. Like so. You can see. Okay, okay. So we actually find today. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bobby pin and you're gonna stick it through a small point of your lock. Okay, see, it's in there. Then you're gonna grab your shell, take your bobby pin and put it through the back of the shell, like so. And now you're gonna pull your lock through that hole. Like so. And then you can go ahead and take that bobby pin out and just pull the rest of your lock through. So it looks like that. And you can adjust it. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your rubber band and just wrap it around. And there you have it. Okay, so for the next method, it's gonna look like this. You see how it's actually on your lock? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your rubber band and you're gonna actually put it through the back of your shell. Like so. Okay, so like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wrap it around and join the ends like so. And then you'll take the two joined ends and add them to your lock. Like so. And you can slide it up, you can slide it down, however you prefer. So you can actually use the same method um, on thicker locks if you wanted to add the lock to the end of your hair, kind of like um, I did with this one. So what you want to do is just um, take your rubber band and stick it through the back of your lock like before. And if you're having a hard time, you can also use your bobby pin. Just kind of loop it through, stick it through, and then pull it. Oops, not all the way through. Let's try that again. And then pull it until you see your rubber band on the other end. It did it again. Okay, third time's a charm. So, take your bobby pin, stick it through the back, and then pull it through, but don't pull it all the way through, just enough to where your rubber band's peeking on the other side. Oh. Can do this when I'm not trying to hold it up.
five hours later. Okay, like that. And then just pull your bobby pin out. Bam. So you have that. And just loop one end through the other to make a knot like that. And then just add that to the end of your lock. There you go. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share with your friends. And as always, until next time, peace love and blessings.